I'm Samir Patel, deputy editor of Atlas Obscura, and I'm going magnet fishing. I heard about magnet fishing from, it might have been Reddit, uh, there, was a, there was a subreddit for it. So I saw these pictures of these people in the UK who uh, were evidently near some kind of training center for World War II or something like that, and it pulled dozens of rifles just out of a pond. There's a pipe. No. No it's, pipe. It's, no, it's a gun. It's a rifle or a shotgun. Magnet fishing is uh, you take a powerful rare earth magnet and you tie a rope to it and you chuck it in the water. Like fishing, but with a magnet. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, that's magnetic. Dude, it's a go kart! Alright, we've got gloves, rope, and this. Brute Magnetics round neodymium magnet with eye bolt. It's magnetic. There's the don't get your hand caught between two of them. And this means, I'm assuming, don't get near it if you have a pacemaker. Why don't we try it over here on the edge so we're not putting it flush on there. Okay, that I can't do. Now we'll, we'll... <laughs> that is a strong magnet. Well, so this magnet is rated for 500 pounds. So I think you need something that's rated this strong even to pick up little stuff that's in the water because it's going to have all kinds of gunk and stuff on it. We should take this outside and see what we can do with it. Hey! I got a bobby pin. Hey! <laughs> Successful magnet fishing. First try in the park. Anything right here? And I'm trying to cover like as wide a space as I can. What would be the best thing you could hope to find? A city bike? Like a, like a, like a ride share bike? Like if you could pull one of those up out of the water, I feel like that would be a public service. There's something on this. This is a piece of metal or something. I, I'll be happy to find anything that, that is remotely sort of interesting or puzzling or looks a little old. This appears to be part of a lock. Um, it's corroded or clipped at the top and spring sticking out of it. I don't want to fall in, I'm actually slipping. Man, look at the bubbles come. We are going to Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx uh, where they have a lake. Uh, that's adjacent to a golf course. It's been there for a long, long time. They've given us a research permit, which I think is really interesting because it suggests like they're actually kind of curious about what this would find or what you know is down under the murky depths. It's like eight feet deep of Van Cortlandt Lake. So if we do find anything interesting, actually regardless of what we find, we are under some obligation to file a report with the Parks Department. Look at that. We got a little donut and a nail. Can't go anywhere without finding some nails. So Van Cortlandt Lake, the surface of it is just, it's black, like it looks, it's really dark. And so it's sort of like a, like a kind of swampy, kind of muddy uh, body of water. So anything that gets thrown into uh, Van Cortlandt Lake is probably never gonna come out again. I've spent a long time writing about archeology span over the years, uh, especially shipwrecks and underwater stuff. So I, I've done wrecks and done a lot of stuff, so anything that's under the water and hidden that way is, is interesting and exciting to me. <laughs> Caught something. <laughs> Not seen anything that looks metal yet. But let's try it this way. All right, here we go. There's a Stella bottle cap. First human artifact that appears to have emerged. We got a nail here. Just a bent nail. Gotta be careful when I pull this stuff off. That's our regular hook. Okay. Still sharp one. Cardinal rule of magnet fishing, as told to us by a YouTube magnet fisher. Make sure you tie your rope off. 
got something. Clearly a piece of uh, construction waste rebar. This is why we wear gloves and get tetanus shots. Yeah. Oh my God. Guys. So what do you like about this? So far? What I like about it is it's scratching every itch. It's like fishing. So you keep doing the repetitive thing until you find something. And certainly finding something was exciting. I got an earring. I'm guessing it's not a, a real diamond. Now, normally when I see uh, people doing this online, they are just dropping it straight down, which we can do here, but uh, you know, actually it's picking up a lot of stuff as we're dragging it across the bottom. There's something very big on the end of this. I can see billows of sediment coming up. <sighs> Holy s It's a bike! It's a bike! <laughs> Get a look at it. The back tire is there, but all the spokes are rusted out. I think we have to talk to some people at the park about the proper way to dispose of it. I, I don't know how we're going to get rid of it. Um, I certainly don't want to throw it back. <laughs> it kind of stinks. I'll tell you, it changes the way you look at like when you see a body of water, you're going to be curious about what would be at the bottom if you threw your magnet in it. So I can see why people get addicted to it for sure.